You know, sometimes people want to know exactly what I've been doing lately. This is a web-only series of shorts that try to answer that question. You're watching it. So Sunday was the first day of fall, just after noon. I walked out into the alley behind my house, heading for Trevenian Avenue just ahead there. I'd been invited to a party over here by Drew Topping, the guy who owns and runs Piper's Pub. The party wasn't really at his house. It was a few doors down at his friend Joe's. But Drew's daughter, Nicolette, knew all about what was going on here today. Today is September 22nd, 2013. And it's the beginning, it's the first day of fall. And today we're doing a wine stomping event. Stomping on grapes and a lot of different foods that are really good. And a gathering of people. Mostly friends and family and neighbors. We usually tell people and then sometimes we tell the person that we told to tell someone else and then they just keep on going and then just like a whole bunch of people come. So I don't feel too out of place and it's really obvious that Joe DeAntonis, whose house this is, is in charge of the grapes and everything. We have about uh, 3,500 pounds of grapes that we stomp. Well, a total with between a couple of us doing almost 4,000 pounds of grapes and we make uh, usually about 350 gallons between three of us and uh, we just uh, we put the grapes in a bin, stomp them, ferment them for a year and make uh, some pretty good wine. You start with the grapes that we get from California and then we just get everyone to stomp on them and then my dad puts his batch in the basement. Actually the first several stompings get hauled down to Drew Topping's basement where the crushed grapes are poured into big blue fermentation containers. That's it. So I have about 80, about 100 gallons in this form, which will press down to about 70 gallons of wine. In about 12 to 24 hours, it's going to start to ferment, and all the must, which is all the, the skins and the, the stems and the rest, will start to form into a cap to where it'll push up when it's fermenting. And you just have to keep pushing that cap down in to keep it wet so you don't form any bad bacteria and after about six to seven days it'll stop fermenting and then it's time to use the valves to take the juice off and then we move all the must into the press and then we just press the end of it to get the rest out of the grapes and the rest that's in there we probably get about 10 gallons out of that uh, and then it'll go into whiskey barrel like this and sit for a year to two years and we'll be in good shape. This one's two years ago. These are both from last year, so. And we let them ferment for like one or two years, I'm not real sure, and then he bottles them. So yeah, and then he drinks it. Two hardest processes are the crushing, the stomping, and, and then the, uh, the pressing. But to me, that's, I think that's really what makes the wine special. Is, uh, is, is you're doing it yourself, and, and uh, it's got you the hard work, and you appreciate it more, you know? There is a procedure to get your feet ready to stomp. There's three different buckets in a row, and the first bucket has water and soap, and you like scrub off your feet, and then you get into the next bucket and just take the hose and rinse off the soap, and in the last bucket, you just stand in and then just get in the grapes and start stomping. It's most important that you rinse well because you don't want any soap in the grapes. That's a killer. What are you doing? Like taking a video or a picture? A video. We're, we're, we made up a song! Yeah, okay. You just made up a song? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? ready? Go. Are you ready? Grapes. We're stopping on grapes. We're making a song about stopping on grapes. It was a good day of washing feet and smashing fruit and scooping it all out into big white buckets. It was a day to meet and talk with neighbors and new friends, a very cool Sunday party. And maybe the best thing, by this time next year, this wine may be ready to drink. We're stomping on grapes. We're stomping on grapes. We're making a song.